Well, this is uh, Music's Underworld webzine, and we are here with a very, very uh, remarkable person, Robert Zadar. Um, he has a very long, like a like a long-standing career in um, in film. And um, how about uh, maybe tell us a little bit about how you got started in in the film world? Uh, I had a career, a career in music when I was younger. Oh, cool. Our band broke up, but prior to that, I, uh, we were uh, in a band that was run by, uh, actually the, now though he was the former governor of uh, Colorado, Aaron Russo. Oh, neat. And he had two of the biggest rock palaces in Chicago, the Electric Theater and the Kinetic Playground. Yes. It's the old Aragon Ballroom, which is still standing there. Mm -hmm. And um, we were the, his house band. So we used to open up for Jefferson Starship, Iron Butterfly, Stevie Winwood, Bunch of Tears. Oh, uh, neat. Yeah. Uh, I can't even remember all of them. <laughs> off the cuff here. But um, a guy from an ad agency had come up to me and said, would you guys like to, to uh, we had great harmony <laughs> at the time. And, um, yeah. Uh, he said, would you like to uh, win, a, win a demo for a 7 up commercial? I said, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, who would? Again. <laughs> so we got the commercial, mm -hmm. and I then went on to start my own company with mm -hmm. uh, a jingle manager, agent, and we did close to 30, I don't know, 30, 35 commercials for radio, national and local. Uh, Canadian beer called Oktoberfest. I had the home hotel toy account, Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Uh, 1969, it was the 7-Up of the Uncoco Underground campaign where all the others were doing their thing. Um, I went to school at Northwestern there and studied voice, and I went to Arizona State. And um, uh, I got my degree, uh, degrees in music and, and uh, in voice, as you couldn't tell right now. But, um, yeah. um, and I think it was my minor. And um, I moved to California. After that, did a couple of channels for Old England, St. Hunter, Mount Lincoln, and Dallas. Mm -hmm. I still live in California. Yeah. And my then, then manager there uh, was my uh, new music manager. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to purpose my acting career because of my look okay. and my body and things like that. So we did that, and I went and studied. And, uh, I needed to get more money because I wanted to take classes, so I, I went and my buddy said, you ought to work at Chippendales. So I went and danced and worked at Chippendales. Uh, and then I started my own singing telegram and stripogram company. Um, Done a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. While I was taking the acting classes, I had two or three girls that were mud wrestlers that also yes. danced, so I would send them out on gigs. Mm -hmm. And then I would take the weekends where uh, I would do just private parties after I left Chip for Chip and Bills and also for my own company. So that paid for a lot of my acting classes and the money, the money was great. Mm -hmm. um, and I took two classes at the same time with two different teachers. To make a long story short, I went out for my first audition and I got it. Um, and um, I just had a knack in front of the camera. So mm -hmm. one thing led to another. I auditioned for Mania Cop and they loved me. And I uh, yeah. offered them the right look and the right body. And, yeah. uh, same with Tango and Cash and everything else fell into place. And I've got a big yeah. cult following. And, uh huh. Done about 130 movies. I also did a lot of TV. Awesome. People forget that. So I, at the beginning of my career, I co-starred on Moonlighting with Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd. Oh, very cool. Uh, guest starred on Love Sydney with Tony Randall, his own show after The Odd Couple. Mm -hmm. um, I also, as an extra, I was the bouncer in the week twice with oh, uh, nice. John Ritter had a couple yeah. of skits with him and Suzanne Summers. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I co-starred as a villain on The Flash, the yeah. Supergirl series. And, um, I don't even have to check my internet for a movie database. I don't remember everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, when you've done 130 movies, it's like you're not, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, we're, we're castmates in The Girl, too, so that's uh, that's really cool. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, um, well, yeah, I mean, you said definitely oh, this is my done this a lot is here. Mm -hmm. This is a movie called The Waiter. Oh, and, okay. Um, 
I had just had double hernia surgery on both my stomach bilateral hernia. Oh. In 2007, I went down here. Mm -hmm. A buddy in Texas coming up and said, we got a movie down here. I said, I'm itching to work because I'm healing from mm -hmm. the hernia. I can't do anything. He said, well, why don't you? Let me see. I'll talk to the producer when they found they could. I was available. They wanted me right away. So. Yeah. Flew me down. It was a second uh, low budget set. And mm -hmm. <clears throat> it only had four or five lines of dialogue. Mm -hmm. But when we did the rehearsal before I went out, they actually took two days off. And mm -hmm. They wrote me about 12 pages and so many different scenes and some incredible long dialogue, which mm -hmm. showed ups and downs of my career other than killing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And saw not only that I can kill people, but I can act as well. And yeah. It's called The Waiter, mm -hmm. and I'm one of the supporting actor here uh, for The Waiter in, um, in Cleveland in 2008. Yeah. There's another shop, one in Orlando and Houston, and the following was there too. Oh, neat. And this is Jason, and he was the uh, uh, writer, director, lead actor. Oh, cool. Uh, and he's really, really a talented kid. Uh, yeah. He's, he's a, a phenom. And he's in California and writing mm -hmm. something. And yeah. He want to work together again. Why don't we sit the table because we don't really care. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just... Uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I can go to you. I can go to that one too with my blonde hair. But anyway. Oh, there you go. Uh, I'm getting the best actor, the best actor be being Duncan for acting, work, my work on independent films in the Hall of Fame in Cleveland awesome. here, this afternoon at 4 o'clock yeah. with a few other people. So it's really quite an honor. And, uh, mm -hmm. Going forward, uh, this movie I did, I did dye my hair blonde and permit. We shot a movie yeah. in Alabama. It's a big cult favorite. I like the hair. <laughs> it's called Solo Taker. Uh -huh. and, uh, it's with me and Joe Estevez. Oh, okay. Um, um, it's now being brought back. We'll be doing Mr. Science Theater again. Mm -hmm. And they, that was one of their showcases. And, uh, oh, okay. I also have a regular copy without their copy, too. But mm -hmm. they're, they're hacking it up and cracking it up.